Can we tell what these weird products are used for? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Please welcome back to the show from the new movie, The House with a Clock in Its Walls, in theaters today. Mm -hmm. It's Jack Black. All right. <laughs> welcome back, man. Hey, Thanks, Jack. you guys. It's good to see you guys again. So now, glad to have thanks you. Thanks for having me back. Just got a small bone to pick with you. What? Uh, Talk to me. Last time you were here, you ripped mm. off the head of our cardboard Santa, and uh, I noticed <laughs> you, you did not bring a replacement with you. Well, I'm a Jew, and so I don't have, <laughs> I don't have access to those kinds of uh, cardboard okay, merchandises. Right. Forget I brought it up. That was a heavy metal classic it rant, was. though. I that think was it was great. well worth, it was worth the it. loss. It was worth it. What's going to happen merch. today? I don't know. Okay, so in the movie, you play a warlock who lives in a house with a clock in its walls. Exactly right. right. It's the title. Yes. yes. Well, Warlock is not in the title. They no, shortened it's it. The House with a Clock, clock in it its walls. walls. It's been voted the most difficult title to remember. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in the trailer, you say, I don't know what it does except something horrible. Mm -hmm. yeah. So in the spirit of not knowing what something does, our crew has acquired a slew of unusual items that do strange or unusual things. Oh. And we are gonna have to guess what they do. Oh, I love this. It's time for the game with the freaky product in our hands. Okay, we're gonna get a weird item placed here on the desk with no context whatsoever. We're gonna in inspect it, play with it, you can taste it, whatever you need to do. Oh, and then we're gonna write down on these whiteboards what we think the item is. Oh, okay, okay? Well, let me get mine. You get it right, you get a point. If nobody gets it right, Stevie will award a point to whoever she thinks, in her own opinion, guessed the closest. Right, and then the winner at the end of the game gets to keep any item of their choosing. Oh. All right, let's get started with the first one. Here it is, it's metal. It's got a ring inside of a ring. You wanna touch it, maybe put your tongue through it. Okay. <laughs> that seems wrong. I was only doing what you told me. Yeah. <laughs> well, I won't be putting my tongue through it. One side of it is, whoa! <laughs> it's unbreakable. Yeah. It's got teeth right there, Jack. Um. Yeah, it looks kinda like a sterno, like flame thingy. It does, yeah. I have a guess. Okay. Me I too. Not bad about this. Okay. All right, Rhett, why don't you go first? I don't know if I'm right about the vegetable or fruit. Is that a vegetable? I say carrot peeler. A carrot peeler? That assumes that all carrots are pretty straight, but a lot of carrots. Yeah, not a carrot. It's a peeler of some kind, I believe. Okay, Jack. A cutter of some kind. I'm going with a sterno flame thingy. <laughs> yep, you, you're stuck with your instincts. Link? I just think it's a weird cookie cutter of some sort, you know? It certainly could be. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is a corn stripping tool for getting oh. the kernels <laughs> off of the cob. Amazon says, quote, the corn stripper tool is easy to use and clean, perfect for salads, cornbread, and others. You do the honors. Wow. So yeah. wait a second. Do the honors, eh? I just, just, so this is, a, you were pretty close when you mm -hmm. said. I knew I wasn't right carrot. about carrot, but. Yeah! Uh, uh, it's easy as one, two, three! Uh. <laughs> what material is that? Is rubber? You got rubber on one side, and you got, I mean, obviously this goes around the back of your neck, right? Of course. That's exactly what I was thinking. But then what happens I, with that part? And then on the back, there's these, I mean, you've got this white Link, thing. just go ahead and put it on. Because right? I don't think that you wearing it is going to give us any clues it's as certain, to what it, it does. It certainly goes on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It certainly does that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So then it's just a question of why. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is why the question, is it not? Why on earth? <laughs> it emphasizes your cheeks. It really does. <laughs> Maybe yeah. that's what it is. Maybe I, it's for models. I got it. I got it. Okay. All right. We'll start with Jack this time. I think that it's a Cirque du Soleil CPAP mask. <laughs> <laughs> Only for people in Cirque du Soleil that have a snoring problem. <laughs> okay, Link. I, I think it is a high cheek enhancer that you wear while sleeping. So then you take it off and you go out to Rodeo Drive and you're like, oh, you. Can you, you see? Know? Yes. It's an option to surgery, though. You would wear this every right. night. And right, it's a trainer. Right. Cheek trainer. Yep. I went with a cheek exerciser. I think if you were to do something with your face, 
you would be building muscle. Okay. You guys are all over this. This is the Hooray Lift Bra, a trendy Japanese product that's worn on the face in order to lift your cheeks to get rid of smile lines. And we do have the instruction manual for you. But you don't wear it in public. It trains you for going out in public without it. So, yeah, Link, you're the closest. What yeah. country is this uh, made in? Japan. Uh, Japan. All right. Uh, okay. Huh. <laughs> I was being very delicate with it. And so then, it, oh, it oh, oh, there's a lid oh, that oh, screws oh, off. Mm -hmm. Things keep happening. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You can take a look. Mm -hmm. oh, look, 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 there's more. And look. Mm -hmm. Is that a mm -hmm. hole in the bottom? It's a hole. See straight through. Mm. Reassemble it if uh, you will. There you go. And then this goes in there. And then this goes on top. Mm. Okay. Yeah. I think I know what this is. I actually have a feeling. Rhett's still writing everything you can think of to try to get a point. No, I'm pretty simple. Okay, Rhett, let's see it. It's a plant pusher. A plant pusher. What is a plant pusher? Well, my uncle's also a plant pusher. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> this one in particular just pushes, you get a little plant and you put it in there and you, you push it. That rings true. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know. I don't. A plant pusher. Okay, Jack. I'm pretty sure that it's an insect habitat enclosure. Oh, that's uh, because if you if you notice, the, you could put the bug in there, and the air could come out from the bottom. Is that true? Oh, but no. only when you poke no, it. No, there's no way for air to come in. <laughs> I'm wrong. I'm wrong. It, okay, but maybe it's a dead specimen. A dead specimen enclosure. I I, I think this is like a magic trick. Like oh. something you get from a you magic shop. That That's then, not a bad I don't know what you do. I have no clue, but it's a magic trick. <laughs> okay. This is an egg cuber. An Amazon reviewer, G. Otis, said <laughs> if, like me, you despise o ovoid hard boiled eggs, this is the product for you. So, is that a hard boiled <laughs> egg? And no matter which way I turn it, it's still a cube. I, I think that it is kind of a magic trick. So, I feel like. Link gets this point. Really? Yeah. Yeah. More, more eggs than a plant? Plants? Po yeah. Eggs are plants, right? <laughs> oh, goodness, that's heavy. I mean, how much do you think that weighs? I'm going to say not that much. <laughs> <laughs> that's, hey, that's maybe cool. uh, seven and a half. Yeah. Five, five to seven. All what right. did I say? Schwegler. Schwegler. So this is a Norwegian something. Mm. So there's a bunch of like rolled up, like cigarillo papers or something. Mm -hmm. I was trying to see if and it was a brick. Some sort of musical instrument. I don't want to say any of my thoughts because it might give away. Oh, you think you know what it is? I always feel like I'm close. I mean, that's basically a brick, guys. <sighs> I think I got it. I think I'm getting some of your vibes, Jack. If you think you've got it, I think I'm stealing it. I'm not looking at your answer though. Don't even look. Okay. All right, Jack. I'm pretty sure it's a Norwegian bee enticer, because <laughs> as we all know, the bee species are going extinct, and we need devices such as this to entice the bees out of their natural habitat to make them like have sex and stuff. <laughs> In, inside of bricks. That's right. Yeah, uh... There's nothing, there's no more enticing. Yeah. Now, I, 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 I think I was, I am picking up on your vibe because I thought it was a heavy insect farm habitat thing. Oh, so, you kept it more general. So I, more I than it, bees are available. Well, I'll say non-bee. Okay, good, all right. If there's any mention of bees, I- I don't know what it is, but I went in a different direction. Like a hornet or something. I said it was a Norwegian moisture collection device. Because <laughs> you know, like, when there's floods in Norwegia. You're saying in Norway, if there's a desert in Norway and you needed moisture- No, 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 no if there was a flood, you would set this in your oh. basement and it <laughs> sucks it all up. Oh, moisture collection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gotcha. So tell me I'm right. Okay, guys. First of all, this is German, oh. but close. 
Sorry. It is the Beneficial Insect Nest, sold on GarrettWade.com as a place for bees and other beneficial insects to nest for a, quote, handsome, eye-catching, and beneficial addition to your garden. And I'm going to have to award the point to Jack because, as Link stated, he did steal Jack's mojo. He said non-bee also. Yeah, he also did. I did say non-bee because d- bees make their own bees. hives. You don't have to make a hive for a bee. Okay, guys, final round. And I feel like this should be worth two points for extra suspense. Yeah, I, I feel that way as well. Okay, so this is, this, this is a two-pointer. Pointer. That's fine. Let's bring it in. All right, a handheld device of some sort. At least. Mm. Oh. Batteries aren't. Oh, 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 oh it's blinking. It's blinking. It's blinking. It's blinking. It's blinking. There's a number. It said zero. What? It's like a. It's like a. a Don't do that. I got. I got some. I got some. Some. Some head shakes when I did that. Oh. It could be Here? dangerous to do that. Here? Oh. Is it? Oh! oh! <laughs> <laughs> What's that? You, you dirty dog. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it, man. Let us see it. I got you. I got you. I don't know what it does, man. What is that? They got me nervous oh, now. Oh, 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 I think I know. I think I know. Does it? But it doesn't. It's, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything. Let me try it. Let me try it. Oh! If you do it a bunch of times, the numbers go all the way up to nine. Hit all right, it, hit it put it on nine. No. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I think we found what this thing does. Oh. Did, it, did it just shock you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it did. Now you feel it. I don't feel anything. You don't feel it? Uh, it's not how you feel. Nothing. Oh, really? Not how do you feel? Nothing. Well, then let's go to seven. Nothing. Let's go to eight. Nothing. Bull. Come on, nine. You do it. Oh, come on. <laughs> you felt it. You felt it. I didn't. You I didn't. It. I think you need to hold it. You gotta hold it. And then oh, yeah, push you the other. It. Yeah, you gotta conduct. <laughs> you gotta conduct. Yeah, yeah right. Here you try it. Oh, gosh. Okay. It's like isometrics. <laughs> but why? But why? But and don't push that to your temple. <sighs> Brain. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Brain shock. <laughs> okay. I feel like we're all going to get this one. I just hit this thing out of the park. All right, Link. All right, I'm saying this is a, uh, a nine-level shocker for kids. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I think you might be onto something there. Okay, Rhett? I said it was a Norwegian electrical pleasure device. <laughs> I love the Norwegian made it back into the... <laughs> okay, Jack? I just went with... Portable electroshock therapy stick. In okay. case you need a little bit. Uh, just a little jolt. For the brains. Okay, this one has a really quick name. This is the Meridian Energy Acupuncture Pen Laser Electronic Pulse Analgesia Therapy Machine Body Massager Pen Pulse Monitor Pain Relief Silver. And the website includes this map of your meridians. Oh, that's a very accurate map. <laughs> yeah, it is. Well. Guys, I gotta say, <sighs> Link is immediately disqualified for saying the phrase shocker for kids. <laughs> and uh, I think what? this one goes to Jack. Yes, yeah! you said therapy and it was yeah, you a got therapy, therapy device. Put, you could put it almost anywhere except for the tip of your penis. Apparently, I didn't see a dust <laughs> <laughs> But everywhere else no it's like, go, no, yes. Like... Put it on your lips. Put it on the top. Nothing's off limits. So really? Jack, you get to choose which one do you want, man. Testicle adjacent shock. <laughs> but not, don't go crazy, guys. Would you be ha- perhaps be interested in? No, dude. I am going home with this baby. Right <laughs> I've got a lot of things I want to shock. <laughs> Thanks to Jack for being on the show once again. Check him out in the house with a clock in its walls in theaters today. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You say you know what time it is. You know what time it is. I'm Pammy. I'm Joel. We're currently vacationing in London, UK. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Mythicality. I'm calling green screen. (laughs) Click the top link to watch us rank the most metal album covers of all time in Good Mythical More. Can you help us with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And to see where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. Our Amazon tees now go overseas. Mythical Amazon tees are available in the US, UK, and Germany. Go to amazon.com slash mythical.